the family, son. Where do you think you're going? What's up, guys? So, I got a comment from Leon Kennedy. He told me to come check out this post. It's a post from CEDEC on NeoGAF. So, shout out to Leon Kennedy. And the user, Dusk Golem, actually deciphered this whole thing. He took all the information because it was in Japanese. And he posted it all here and he broke it down for us. So I want to talk about some things in this article, but I want to let you guys know if you are very interested in this, I highly recommend you go to the post and you read it for yourself, especially you technical guys, you guys are going to have a field day with this. But I want to talk about some of the information that stood out to me, as well as talk about some of the screenshots. I will be skipping a ton of information that's about the technical side, about VR. So again, if you're interested in that, I highly recommend you check it out for yourself. So let's just get right into it. So one of the first things I want to talk about is that they stated that the conceptual idea for Resident Evil 7 came in 2013 and actual production on the game started January 2014 and they decided on the project November 2014. So even though this game does look like PT, that people often say that Capcom pretty much stole PT's idea from Konami, this shows here that the production of the game actually did start in January 2014, and perhaps after the success of uh, PT in November 2014, that's when they used the kitchen demo as the testing water to start really testing the game. So although PT didn't inspire the creation for Resident Evil 7, it probably gave it a lot of ideas. Now, it got to the point where they were talking about how they started to create all the models or the makeup. And I want to talk about Jack the Family Man. Um, I'm going to be showing all the screenshots that they showed on your screen. He looks to be very well developed. He has a lot of detail. You can tell that they put a lot of work in making this model. The actor sitting there was just probably going through this makeup process for a very, very long time. They also showed a picture of all the makeup that they used for him. I just want to say that the amount of detail that went into making Jack the Family Man is absolutely outstanding. I really do like the direction. He looks very creepy, very pale like. You can see a lot of veins. And then as they go on to add more features, you can see the facial features starting to come in. You can see the details really starting to come out. And towards the end of the final product, when they took his face and he put it inside of the game, he looks very well detailed. I mean, he looks very, very creepy, especially when he smiles and things like that. And then as they finally start finishing the model for his face, it just looks amazing. The amount of detail, the amount of makeup and artwork that went into creating this one figure alone is surprisingly very well done and surprisingly very creepy. It's very, very cool. I do like what I'm seeing here. They also made a shirt, um, Welcome to the Family Sun shirt. I really do need this shirt. The day it's going on sale is the day I purchase it. It looks really, really great. I missed out on the E3 2016 Resident Evil 7 shirt. I will not miss out on this one. Here, they discuss that there will be some enemies that are not humanoids and there are not zombies. So, and the infected creatures will have zombie-like features to them. But there will also be some crazy creatures that don't even look human. We've seen some of the uh, enemies that don't look, you know, humanoid at all in Revelations 2. I'm just giving it a brief example. I'm not saying those enemies will be in Resident Evil 7. But it's really um, interesting what enemies will um, make a appearance in Resident Evil 7 that don't look humanoid at all. But here is a screenshot of two um, infected creatures. That's what I'm going to call them. They seem to have a lot of details on their face, a lot of spurs, a lot of growth on their face. Um, this reminds me of Last of Us, kind of, how the enemies had these dots on their face. But it looks very, very interesting. Um, they do have zombie-like features, but they're not called zombies. They're called infected creatures. So, again, I'm really uh, curious on the uh, information we're going to get as Resident Evil 7 continues through its development cycle. Here they talk about some of the actors, they go um, into Pete, they start discussing how they made Pete, you know, different faces they gave him. And we also see some new characters as well. 
Here is um, a picture of one of the new characters. Maybe this is um, the character we played as in the teaser or this can probably be Ethan or a new character altogether. We also have a army dude here. Um, maybe some kind of military personnel get sent to the mansion. Um, I'm hoping it's at the end of the game they would suck if you know um, we randomly became this military dude even though they said that our character that we're playing as has no type of training he's just an ordinary civilian so I hope this is not our character I'm kind of really into the we're not trained we're kind of helpless type of look they're going for we also see a female here now this can be a younger Margaret but Margaret had black hair so I'm guessing that this is Maya she seems blonde I'm really interested in her as well. What was she doing at the mansion in the first place to be captured by Margaret? We also see another character here. He has an earring in his ear. Um, I, I don't know what to really say about this. He's going to be a new character, obviously. Um, I wonder what his role is in the game. Maybe, again, this can be Ethan or the character we played as in the teaser. Um, I'm not really sure. Let me know your thoughts about this character. Um, we see um, a hooded uh, shirt here. It looks like a sweatshirt. Um, this can be the same sweatshirt we saw in the Desolation trailer. So perhaps this is something our character is wearing. We also see a screenshot of one of the infected creatures. Um, he looks very, very good. Again, the detail that's going into these models is absolutely awesome to just look at. I really want to see what they look like while playing the game but anyways that's gonna be it for this video i don't want it to get too long again for you technical guys out there i highly recommend you go read this post for yourself they talk about their engine they talk about their makeup they talk about everything that went into this game all their ideas their conceptual ideas the setting it's really really crazy i highly recommend you guys check out this post after this video is over but anyways i'm gonna be out of here thank you guys for listening deuces